if you guys know, on our previous Real In News, I talk about the first look of The Last of Us Season 2. As well, I do mention that in our Instagram, there are pictures that were leaked of the set where we do see and confirm that Warner Brothers, Max, and Naughty Dog, whatever you want to call Max now, um, is going forward to doing The Last of Us Part 2, the video game. Um, obviously, if, we, if you guys remember, The Last of Us Season 1 is basically the whole first game, but there is a slight change. That big change is that, um, that episode that gives us more in detail of Bill's love interest and their life. But before um, they met Ellie and Joel, and as well when they met, when Bill ha uh, was friend with Joel as well. That episode, phenomenal episode. But these are my thoughts and the why Max should not do season two as The Last of Us Part 2. And these are my reasons. The Last of Us Season 2 is I'm to bring The Last of Us Part 2. It's so funny because Season 2, Part 2. <laughs> so it is giving us a positive note and a wide open door that we're going to be following the, the whole storyline or plot line of The Last of Us Part 2. If you guys have played the video game, there is a gap of four to five years between both games. There is a lot of information that even though the video game does provide it to us in certain aspects of the game, I will try and have a spoiler free, if you have not yet played The Last of Us 2, if you haven't, it's available on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, so go ahead and check it out, like that you guys can enjoy an amazing game. And if you guys want me to give you an explanation why The Last of Us 2 um, is a masterpiece as the first one. We can do a video like that as well. Comment below and tell me uh, if you want that video as well. Now, going back to the topic, there is a major gap between both games. We do see certain sequences in the game that is actual gameplay that adds up to the story of the why um, Joel and Ellie are not talking. And that is a major gap. Even though we do get it in the video game, that this does not mean that we will get it in the series. Obviously, yes, yes, John, there is a high chance that they might do two episodes or one for these explanations. Yes, that's fine. But wouldn't it be better if season two was those four to five years? Wouldn't it be better to have a major more buildup for people that have not yet played the video games or have not yet fell in love with these two characters because yes, season one was nine episodes. I personally would have preferred the series to be 12 or at least 10. Why do I say this? You give more time to the audience like that they can fall in love with these two characters because that's what happened on The Last of Us Part 2. The issue with Part 2 is that a lot of people, a lot of fans got so into these characters when certain events happened in The Last of Us Part 2, people got mad, people went ballistic. And even though in a video game aspect or a movie aspect, being the fact that Naughty Dog tries to implement movie aspects to their video games, it makes sense what those events mean it makes sense to the build up to the ending of the game now will that build up be significant to the fact that there are people that probably have not yet played the last of us series and that is one point one major point that i want to put in the table why because the last of us is not just gameplay the last of us is a fully immersed I'm not going to say open world, but it is kind of an open world where anything and everything that you interact with can be part of the story. What does that mean? That means that if you are interacting with key NPCs from the game, those key NPCs gives you details of the past of what happened throughout the story of The Last of Us or give you more inside details of the situation that you're going through as well the background of these characters. Like, for instance, throughout The Last of Us 1, 
when it's only Joel and Ellie, there are key moments where Joel and Ellie have these conversations that they talk about how was life before the the virus and how is life after. Why do I say before and after? Because Ellie is part of what happened after. She was technically born when the virus was already in flourishing. And they give you a very, very great entry to Ellie's character um, provided on The Last of Us Season 1. Did I say that that episode is huh, the creme of the creme, Mwah, a masterpiece. So going back, and then you have Joel that tells Ellie how was the world before the virus. She, he explains how music was um was before he explains how some arcades used to be uh played even though in the last of us um expansion on the first the first installment of the last of us in the expansion you do see ellie and her love interest um play arcade in a mall and actually we do get that full episode um as well in part in season one i was gonna say part one <laughs> Now, why would season two be more valuable? And if HBO, if you see this video and your writers are like, damn, uh, we're, we're in production. Why don't we just go ahead and move these episodes, finish this whole season and do season two differently? I know, I know. It's going to cost a lot of money. But hey, John, but it isn't it better to just continue part two? Like that season three can be something different. Yes, it can. But no. Why do I say this? Because if there is a gap that you can explore of four to five years on story wise of Ellie and Joel and Tommy and between other characters, it would be phenomenal to explore those years. I say this because it gives you more interaction between Joel and Ellie. And not only that, people that have not yet played the video games can fall in love more with Joel and Ellie. It gives more, um, I would say it will give them more interest in the characters, more interest into getting into the game. And as well, when we reach The Last of Us Part Two of those events, the event will be more meaningful for the people that have not yet played the game. Because they fall in love with the characters throughout the series. And as well, it gives a chance to Naughty Dog have this longer relationship with HBO Max. And probably they can reach to season 3 or season 4. Because it would be phenomenal that yes, season 2 is The Last of Us Part 2. And probably season 3 can be The Last of Us Part 3. That obviously we know that Naughty Dog did mention that the Part 3 will come out. What will it be? I have no clue. I don't have an idea what they can do with the ending of part two. If they want to explore probably um, something that happens in the end on part three and probably bring back uh, a Abby to the mix, then it would be great, I think. But it all depends on what Naughty Dog wants to bring to the table in terms of message. Because if you guys don't know, The Last of Us Part One and The Last of Us Part Two, each one has a message. Each one has a message in a whole. If you guys obviously saw part um, season one, season one, you see the interaction of a father that lost his daughter very unfairly due to the start of the virus. And then he meets this little girl that he does not want anything to do with her. But still, Throughout the time of getting to know her, throughout the time of getting to to um to uh, how do I say this to have that relationship with her, he feels as a father to Ellie, and that's why he does what he does at the end of season one. That it saves Ellie, obviously, destroys the fireflies, and lies to her. And obviously, we all know that it's not correct to lie. <laughs> but now, <clears throat> these are the reasons why The Last of Us Season 2 should be the gap. Reason number one, it gives you 
more interest to your main characters in this point. In this point, season one, the main character is Ellie. Season two is Joel and Ellie. More Joel than Ellie in this case, because you want the audience to fall more in love with Joel. See, reason number two. The second reason is that you have a chance to expand your um, story. It gives a chance to Naughty Dog explore that gap. It gives Naughty Dog to give them a chance to give more details in regards to the events of part two. And as well, it gives them a chance to probably, probably, if they are part of the writers, to open their mind or their eyes to be like, oh, thanks to this, we can now start writing part three as our next installment for The Last of Us and probably final installment. Even though in my thoughts, I'm okay if Naughty Dog does not bring part three. Obviously, that goes against my wishes, but I do understand that The Last of Us Part 2 has a great ending on our f loving Ellie and Abby, and as well, I think they should leave it there. If they do bring us The Last of Us Part 3, obviously, I know that Naughty Dog will try their 100% best to give us what we have been getting since Part 1 and Part 2, so I give them time. Um, for that as well. Now, reason number three. Reason number three is because you can go ahead in the final episode, if they do season two a little bit longer, that it should be a little bit longer. If they do take the, these reasons that I'm mentioning, the final episode can be the beginning of part two. You can present... Like you can have like a uh, half of the episode. Let's say that you make the episode. Um, let's say that they make the pe episode 50 minutes. You can use 30 of those minutes to build up like um, the situation. And then the final 20 or the final 15, because obviously we need credits. Then the final 15 um, minutes, you can use it to build up or that cut to black and you're presenting season three. Why do I say this? Because you're building up your audience and you're building up tension like people are going through right now with Bridgerton that they only got part one. <laughs> um, so it builds up that intensity that you're like, okay, you have to wait at least one or two years for season three and see what happens. From there... You have an engagement of season two. And you will have people talking about it for months, like what happened with season one. A lot of people started talking about these episodes that were kind of different from the video game. And I loved how they made Bill's story. I loved how they presented how Ellie came to the world. And obviously, the phenomenal uh, voice actress, uh, Ashley Johnson that presents as Ellie's mom, I you can say. So it is a way that HBO Max and Naughty Dog can work together to create this gap and to go ahead and build up for season three. Again, these are just my thoughts on the situation. I just say that it it would be great to explore the four to five year gap and then go to the last of us part two from there if naughty dog or hbo already has a plan on what part three can be or season three my bad then they can continue on moving forward obviously it, it is a little bit difficult not having like the source material in a video game but again this this does not stop that probably Naughty Dog already has somewhat of a story for part three. But hey, I want to hear what you guys think about this. Do you think that my reasons are good? Do you think that um, they should explore the four to five year gap of The Last of Us 2? 
before going straight forward to the main plot line of part two? Or should they just go straight forward, go part two, and see what happens moving forward? Tell me, tell me your thoughts on the comments below. Like there you guys can, we can have that debate. If you guys have any interest as well to me making a, a video, a full length video of me explaining why The Last of Us Part 2 is a masterpiece as the first one, just comment as well below if you want to see that video. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Real In Films, and as well, we do have a website. And if you want to be up to date with anything and everything movie related, go ahead and um, follow us in our Instagram. That's where we have everything that is news related. As well, guys, if you want to see me debut, sadly, this is going to be for my Spanish listeners or watchers or viewers. If you guys want to see my debut in a radio station this Friday, I really don't know the time yet, but normally it starts at 9. I will be in Conexión Espiritual giving my review of the film that's coming out, the Christian film that's coming out this May 24th, Sight. So if you guys want to see me um, as my debut in a internet radio station, go ahead and see me there because I will be live with, um, with the host. So we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.